I mean, the devil gets a bad rep. <laughs> he gets a bad rep. It's not fair. It is totally unfair. I mean, he kind of does. The reputation that is placed upon the devil. Because if he is the guy who tortures the evil people, then isn't he the good guy? I mean, we yeah, that's what we were saying yeah, on the podcast. We did Which say one it. was it? Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell, yeah, because, we said that. Yeah, it doesn't really... It's not fair. I mean... And everyone's looking at him like, oh, the devil. But he's 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 like, well, none of the other angels wanted that job. <laughs> they was all like, nah, we chilling with God. He was like, you know what, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll take one for the team. Yeah, they was, yeah, they was, nah, it's comfortable up in these clouds. We ain't going down there. He was like, you know, but someone's got to put it right. They can't go down on earth and behave anyhow. So there has to be consequences. I'll do it. And so he's now, he's at, eternally, he is torturing the people. He is. That's a long time. That's a long time. Eternity is, um, that's commitment. <laughs> that means he's passionate about the cause. So he get. let me clarify, because I, I, I just yeah. saw the headlines in my head. Um, yeah. About to be headlines. Yeah. And that call yeah. <laughs> speaks up for the devil. Yeah, devil worship or whatever. <laughs> no, no, let me clarify. I'm simply saying is that looking at it, and obviously the initial question is about heaven and hell. But mm-hmm. heaven and hell, God and the devil, looking at it from that religious perspective or how it's been put to us anyway, um, on the whole, it's going to be misleading. It's going to be confusing. And it's going to lead to all sorts of questions in your mind if you're actually thinking like, well, why, why would that be? So it's, it's, it's a, it gives you a distorted view of reality. And a lot of it is based on control. So when you talk about that concept, heaven and hell, it's really based off on control by way of fear, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because if you can convince a people, not only that these places exist, because remember they're extreme in their deliverance, so to speak. You have heaven, which is eternal bliss and happiness and happy times. And you're just, that's just, you're just chilling for, for forever. And then you've got hell, which is eternal suffering and torture. And it's just mad hot down there. You're sweating all the time. The devil's right beside you just laughing constantly. That's how I've seen it somewhere. (laughs) I've seen it. I've seen it. So when you're dealing with that, and I don't think, I'm not saying to dismiss the concept of eternity all out. I'm not saying that at all because existence is without beginning or end. So if you exist, you have always existed in some form Mm -hmm. and you will always exist in some form, if that makes sense. So it's not to dismiss that concept. In fact, it's very important. We have to we have to dive into emotional energy books like that, um, where we where it's fully explained what happens to you when you transition from this realm, the spiritual you after the physical you dies, where it's fully explained the possibilities once this particular incarnation of yours has ended, and that's yeah. what it is. It's, it's it's one incarnation. It's true. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because mm. you reminded me. I was having a conversation with a friend the other day, mm. and she asked me. She's like, "Do you?" What do you think about heaven and hell? Do you mm. believe in it? And I was like, oh, it's an interesting one. Yeah. It, it depends how we're defining it, really, was my answer. But she was kind of like, I'm not sure, because in church they say you can repent yeah. and you'll be forgiven. Yeah. And she's like, no matter what you do. Yeah, like, I mean, that, the whole idea of, I mean, it just, yeah, nah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. It I doesn't mean, work. It doesn't you work. You could do the most. <laughs> As long as the, you the go to church on Sunday. The most evils yeah. ever to be seen, as long as you repent. Go go to, <laughs> go to church on Sunday and say, I'm sorry, I, I killed that to. man. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Forgive me. God would be like, you know what? You came to church. <laughs> so, yeah. No, no but the, whole, the concept in, in itself is it's just too extreme. So it's based on control. Mm-hmm. So if I can convince you as a people, oh, okay, behave this way and you'll go to heaven. Not only will you behave that way, i.e., go to church every Sunday, worship a particular God and give your energy to that particular entity. But also you'll forget to try and make this physical life as as good as it possibly can be. Because if we look around, a lot of people are living in hell right here on earth. This is their hell. And some people are in heaven. Hmm. They, they live their best life. They're doing what they want to do when they want to do it. And, and a lot of people are in hell. But if you can convince that group of people, oh, it's, it's all good. Because when you pass, you're gonna eternally be with this. Who who is it? Is it a? It's a guy in the clouds that's also everywhere, and the angels and the, whatever it is, you'll eternally be there, and everything will be all good. Yeah. So the concept is, uh, yeah, it's designed for control. It's that same uh, reward and consequence that you're given as a child. Like we spoke about that as well. Like Santa Claus, Father Christmas, be good throughout the year. 
and you'll get presents. Naughty and nice list. Right? Yeah, naughty and nice list. Be good throughout the year and you'll get presents. So be good throughout life and you'll go to heaven. But they're defining for you what good is. Yeah, which is exactly what we're saying. Well, who's defining what good and evil is? Exactly, exactly. And that's the problem. So it's not to say that you shouldn't try to live your life a certain way. You shouldn't try and behave yourself. I'm not saying go all out and just do whatever you want because no, I'm just saying that you have to investigate if 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 something is telling you what good is and something is telling you what the reward for being that way is once you transition, then you have to investigate that something. And that's what's happened a lot. The religion now is just so worldwide. You're just accepting it. You're just accepting it and saying, okay, if I behave this way, if I worship this particular God, I'll go to heaven without investigating who that God is, who are the beings responsible for you, so on and so forth. What is your culture? What who are you as a being? Because we said that plays a role, doesn't it? If you're if you're praying to a particular deity and hoping that deity is going to take you in upon you transitioning, what if that deity isn't related to you in any shape or form? It's looking at you like I don't I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. Or or even worse, what if that deity is your enemy? And, and 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 that and, has to and be what is heaven for you exactly is that perspective and we spoke about that when we're dealing with opposites and polarity someone could be two people could be in the exact same situation and one of them is like yes this is the life i'm enjoying this and the other's like no this isn't it i hate this mm -hmm. perspective good and evil often a perspective so rather than looking at the world like that it's better to try to understand well who am i as a being what is my story on this planet? Who who seeded me? Who created me? Who are the, the spiritual beings responsible for me? And let me aspire to them. So that if there is such a place, heaven, remember the word heaven simply ties into the word haven, mm -hmm. which connect your safe haven, your home. If there is a haven, if there is a heaven for me to return to, then I need to find out where exactly that is for me. Because the, the universe is a big place. It's a huge place. So you're going somewhere, you better be sure you're going to the right place. And there's so many layers to what I've just said. We, we need to dive into it really, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a word there. Yeah. But that's deep. It's like, where is home for you? Yeah, where is home really? for you? Where is home for you? Because at the end of the day, religion will have you believe that we're supposed to, especially as an African people, aspire to be with some white guy who's in the clouds, but also everywhere. That wouldn't even be heaven for me. That wouldn't be I heaven. Mean, <laughs> Nothing against white guys, but that yeah, doesn't. Like that's I... not a description of heaven, <laughs> for, especially for African people. Oh, you look over the last period of time. That's <laughs> that. That image is not the image of salvation for us. I'm it shouldn't be, be. I'm gonna be scared. You're gonna be worried <laughs> because I pass on and there's some giant white giant, guy. Giant, <laughs> giant white guy just waiting. Like, yeah, here you go. I'm be like, no, I just dealt with enough of you down there. Now I've got a giant one. It's just, you, we've got to deal with reality here. That wouldn't be heaven. So so what you have to do is, and, and we explain the religion, and in all seriousness, we've broken down, and, and we'll, we'll have to do it again probably, but the age of Adamites past. Mm -hmm. We've broken down how particular religions and cultures apply to particular people on the planet. So if you're in one that doesn't apply to you, you're limited. You're limiting your being, and, and it won't work for you because it wasn't given to you. It wasn't created for you. We as African people predate these religions. And so they can't possibly apply to us. If you predate them, that means you existed as a people before they came into play. And we said that the other day. So so all of that connects to what will be your heaven. Because if you're, you're still giving reverence to such a being who came to the planet when you were already here. Mm -hmm. Remember, and, and that's that quote, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters or moved above the face of the waters and what Baba Yanun explained is we was in the waters looking up at this so-called spirit of God if that makes sense so you we were already here as a people when these other beings deities extraterrestrials aliens arrived to to start their own projects and create or seed or graft their own people we were already here so what they give isn't for us so in okay when we were left here what were we given our culture you know as as we know so yeah yeah i guess that branches into whose god is the god of the bible there you go or who is the god slash gods who within are, yeah. the bible who are the gods of the bible and that's something to definitely get into yeah we i and then we said was it yesterday or the day before we got to do a segment on that we've got to do a segment on the anunnaki 
and on the Palladians or the Palladians. Um, we have to do explain that. Yeah, those those are your gods of the Bible, and, and it's shown in there if you know how to read it. So if you're trying to go to heaven and that heaven is with them, given what's taken place in the last age in respects to us as African people and the way we've suffered, that don't sound like heaven, does it? So yeah, we need to obtain, okay, where exactly am I trying to go? And this is emotional energy, a book called Emotional Energy, which, which explains you're trying to return home to Orion. So we got to do a segment on that. I'm going to leave it there. But on basics, heaven and hell is, a, is, is designed for control. And it controls you by way of fear. Because if you truly believe that such extreme consequences or rewards are awaiting you, you'll behave exactly as it's determined by whatever religion you're following um, decides you should behave. So, okay, I'm going to behave this way. I'm going to give reverence to this God and this being. And, that, and that's done for a reason, by the way. Um, so we're giving our energy in a particular direction. And you'll do that for your entire life without addressing not only your life, your culture, but also your spiritual well-being. You won't really address it because you're locked in that faith and belief mm -hmm. in a particular deity, if that makes sense. And, and you'll settle for hell right here on earth. I only to find that when you transition, there's a different type of hell waiting. And that's by design. That's by design. So we've got to break this spell of religion. We have to.